we playing baseball or are we going fishing? See you in hell, big boy! This is take two of this intro. Uh, take number one, we showed up to the fishing spot and realized we did not have waders. So we had to drive another hour and a half to do all that stuff, but we finally got our waders and welcome back. Today marks a very cool day. This is our first fishing excursion of the Alaska series year 2023. That was a mouthful. But that's right, right now we are here in end of May and the King Salmon are starting to run on the Kenai Peninsula and Sam and myself find us out here today. We're going after a big boy today, a King Salmon, that's right. Last year Sam ended up getting one and then I never got one or Lindsay did not get one. Lindsay decided to stay back home and just kind of hang out because of the whole debacle of the waiters. So it's just Sam and I today. And then our good buddy Jacob Keels, if you guys remember him, uh, he's also here on this river. So we'll probably meet up with him at some point in time. But uh, Sam and I are, are gonna be using these float rods with these giant soft beads. And I don't think any of us have ever caught a king salmon on this before. So this is gonna be an adventure. Uh, we're just gonna hop right into it and see if we can catch some fish. Bubba, you pumped? Oh, dude, I can't wait to dip net. Yeah, baby, oh yeah. Dip netting. Mr. Jacob Keels. What's up guys? Welcome back to Alaska. Dude, they, last day time the last time you were seen on this channel, you were duck hunting. Yes. In North Dakota, yes. but now this is not North Dakota. And now eh? we're salmon fishing, just like I said in North Dakota. Hey, it feels good hey. to be back, and we're back with our buddy Jacob. Hopefully you got some kings, right? Yeah, sure. I caught one on Saturday and Jaden limited out here this morning. So hopefully okay. we can get on some. Well, if you guys didn't know. The boys actually started a YouTube channel, so hey, they'll be linked hey, down hey, below. Hey, Make sure to check them all out. Kenai Boys Outdoors. Let's right? go. All right, so check out my homie. And then we got Slayman over here. Sam, how was that walk? Definitely got a little hot underneath the waders there, eh? So basically, for those of you who don't know, today we're doing kind of like a float thing. Basically, got a big old bobber up top. As you can see, bobber stopper. Some of these guys right there. A little barrel swivel to a 25-pound uh, leader with some splitties and a big old chungus right there bouncy the ball just ba bouncy just your ball. kids bouncy ball you know you put in 25 cents somewhere in one of those machines and it comes out that's where we got this from but we're just gonna get after it here uh hopefully we can get make something happen this is our first time out this year so you just never know what's gonna happen but stay tuned guys pray for us Yes, sir. <laughs> I didn't even realize it at first. It's not that big. Uh, it's not that big. How do I got them wrapped up right now? Hey. hey. You got one already? I guess so. <laughs> Dude, I'm just like so out of it right now. Like I haven't fished in like a couple of weeks and watching that thing go down for a second, I was like, I like, forgot what to do, I like, froze. I was like, is that a fish? Bam, fish on. 
All right, well, Jacob's going to dispatch your king, but dude, we've yeah, been here yeah. for like 10 minutes, dude, bro. Dude, cast it in a perfect spot and wham. Let's go, baby. Dude, first Alaska fish of the year, bro. I know, as a king. Let's I need, go. I need some more hypeness, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just like, I just like can't believe I'm here right now, first off. Secondly, like I said, I'm just so out of it. Like, it went down. And I just, I, you know, I don't know. I just, yeah. Let's Look go. at that. So this is a hatchery king. You can keep yep. these. Dude. Nice. Hey, I will definitely take Beautiful. that though, I mean, look brother. look how chrome that is. Sea lice on it still. Oh no, that's just a stick. Ah, but look how chrome it is. Yeah, they show she's, she's pretty chrome. She's gonna Shoo. eat up just fine. Oh, dude, she's gonna eat Shoo. so good. Oh, we eating good, baby. Yes, right. sir. Dude, shout Keels doing the land job right, and... Land he, job, okay. hooking it us up. Yeah, he gave mm. us all the hooks and all everything, told us where to go. Yep. This man just died. Hey. <laughs> Oh, I got so excited. Oh, boys, this might be the end of this one. Oh. Oh, I got the hook, or I mean the fucking split shot. <sighs> All righty. Well, we just made the walk back to the truck. The boys fished for a little bit longer and didn't get any. But that's how it goes, you know? We ended up getting one fish. And Slayman got it. Out of all people, the non-Alaskan resident got it dirty done. Dog. Yeah, the dirty dog Slayman himself. But we're going to clean this uh, fish on Keel's tailgate because he's an absolute beast at cleaning fish. If you guys don't know, he used to actually do this for a living. Now he just does it for fun as a hobby. And he, we don't have to get our hands dirty. He's just going to do it for us. So I'm like, I bet. So he's going to show you how to clean a fish real quick. Welcome back to Cleaning Fish with Keels. Shout out Nick Papa for these amazing ammo glows. Ooh. Um, here's Sam's beautiful King Salmon. Oh yeah. So grown. It's a sharp knife, son. Yes, it is. I like it. You like taking them off? I do. That's cool. Take off that one. I do like taking off. Okay, inch. okay. I'm so excited. I like the, the, the color of kings like looks so much different than red. So you guys, obviously last summer you saw us catch a lot of reds and they're red. But the kinks, well, I mean, their meat looks a little bit more like Jacob's glove. Scuzzy, a bunch of males. Ooh, that's a male. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he gets under there. Uh-huh, goes down to the backbone. See, I'm gonna flay this one like a normal person would. You're gonna flay, okay, you're gonna flay like a normal person, huh? Uh-huh. Oh. Yes, sir. Tip number one, have a sharp knife, ladies and gentlemen. That, I mean, son. I mean, look at that, son. Son. Look at how smooth that is, son. Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh, man. This is a true Mindak vid. A lot of you guys have been asking, where's the cleaning? Where's the cooking? Well, you're getting all of it on this video. So drop a thumbs up for this part. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that carcass. Look at how much meat is not on that carcass. Yeah, that's... Shoo! That's... That, you, nice, nice going, man. All I right. feel like he's cleaned fish on our channel a bunch, and every time he's pretty much killed it, you know? Ribs. But all that's left is just ribs. the little ribs, and he's just slicing them off ever so lightly. Look at how paper thin. Yeah, paper thin. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. Look at this, man. Perfect cut. Leave you guys the belly. Belly's like one of the best parts. look at that. Hey, Kiel's, I actually started being not lazy, and a couple times I took out the pin bones Ooh, with like pliers, you yeah. know? So there's like the pin bones that go down the middle. Uh -huh, down the, you just down pluck the them chest. out, and then it's all good to go, you know? Yeah, sure. I had to do that because, you know, the girlfriend, you know, don't like bones when you eat, apparently. But... <laughs> have you decided to start skinning them yet? Yeah, no, 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 oh. I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, I always have to skin mine. Oh. Bruh. Mouth. Watering. Mm. Hold that sucker up, Kiel. That is 
some fresh Alaskan salmon. Nice and oh, oily. That is awesome. Got the whole nine yards right there from the catch to the clean. We're outside, it's going awesome. We just gotta go home and cook this at some point. But yeah, no, had an awesome time out here for the very first fishing trip of the 2023 season. And yeah, I still haven't whacked one yet, but one of these days, your boy will get a king. Just gotta keep grinding, man, that's how it is. It's gonna get better and better as it gets warmer and all that good stuff. So we're gonna pack up, get the fish in the cooler, go back to the crib, and I'll catch up with you guys later. What a guy. The next day. Hey, Paco. Get your ball. Go get your ball. It's right there. Get your ball. Come on, buddy. Get your ball. Yep. Oh, oh, he's just staring at us. <laughs> he's like, I see people right here. What the dog doing? His ball's right there, and he's just. Oh. Oh, oh okay. Right on, brother. Right on. What up, Schleyman? What up, Bubba? What up, brother? Oh, not much. Just about to cook this awesome king salmon right here. We got a half a filet. Oh, oh that's pretty ho, ho, ho. good. That looks so good, dude. Right? What Shout out think? to you for catching dinner, though. Hey, I got lucky, brother. Hey, guys, it's the next day, and it's dinner time. We're about to cook this king salmon. We're still debating on how to cook it, but I think we're just going to probably fry it in the pan. Quick, easy, simple, and very delicious. Hey, that was lit. All right, Schleyman, what are we going to season this bad boy with? Uh, we're gonna keep it pretty simple just so we can get the taste of the salmon. We just got some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some Italian seasoning going on here. I'm not really sure if you're supposed to lay them skin down first. Is that like the technical thing that Gordon Ramsay would say? Like, or does it really matter? I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Drop a comment down below if you are a chef and you guys know more than me, I would like to learn. But we got the salmon all seasoned up. It's in the pan on the stove and we're just rocking with like a medium low heat and we're just gonna watch her and, oh, my mouth's already watering, Sam. It's gonna be good. All right, so as we're cooking this salmon, I had a quick tip that I wanted to give you guys. We have a meat thermometer right here. And one thing I found out is, I actually looked this up online. When you're cooking normal store-bought salmon, you wanna get the internal temp to about 145. However, if you guys are catching wild salmon, it's different. You want the internal temp to be about 120 to 125 degrees. That's something new that I just learned. I've been doing it on my salmon more and more recent, and it's tasted a lot better. We're gonna keep the salmon on the pan a little bit longer and keep monitoring the internal temp. And once it's to about 120 degrees, we're gonna take it off. Damn. Sheesh. Getting that basting going, son. All right, the salmon is done. Oh Lindsay's gonna go for the first piece right here. Oh, this is king salmon, Lindsay, so it's Look not sockeyes. Look how light sockeyes. it is. 
Yeah, it looks a lot different than the sock guys, eh? Oh yeah. It looks really good. Pretty hot still. Wow. Sorry, I'm gonna keep eating yours. It's so good. So Lindsay, you've obviously had a lot of red salmon before. Yeah. But this is a king salmon. Can you taste the difference between the two? I can, personally. I think it tastes, salmon obviously has like a particular taste just cause it's like a red meat. But this is so much lighter. I think it hardly tastes fishy at all. Like doesn't really taste like fish. It's a little fattier, so it, it tastes like really like buttery, melt in your mouth kind of thing. It's so good. All right, chef. Moment of truth. Should we try it? Let's go for it, dude. All right, let's break your open here. Oh my, Perfect, oh dude. man. That's beautiful. Cheers. Money. Mmm, that is so good. Mm hmm. Cooked perfectly, dude. The meat probe definitely is strat. 100% a strat. Nice and moist inside. Beautiful. No fork needed, boys. King salmon, here we go. Mm. Cook your guys' wild salmon to a lower internal temp. That's all I got to say. This stuff hits a lot different than the farm-raised salmon. So definitely make sure you guys do that. And I feel like a big problem that people do when they're at home cooking salmon is they overcook it. And they are not even using a meat probe. And then your salmon gets dry, which nobody likes a dry salmon. It's like eating dry chicken. We killed it. Oh, I guess Sam killed it on this one. Brought it to a good 123, right in between that 120 and 125 internal. Oh, son, we need to catch some more. That was so awesome, so amazing. If you guys ever make it up to Alaska, definitely go and try to catch a king salmon. Number one, they're probably the pound for pound, one of the most hardest fighting fish that you guys can chase and they are awesome table fare. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Had an awesome time catching our first fish in Alaska. And also shout out to Jacob Kios for lining all that up. I don't got anything else for you guys. We're gonna be here the whole summer. Let us know what you guys wanna see while we're here. And if we're gonna be eating like this all summer, it's gonna be an okay summer. Thank you for watching today's video and we'll catch you guys on the next one.